All right, in the last video, we were talking about major and minor thirds. A major third is a tone plus another tone, and that would yield a major third. Tone plus a tone is a major third. A tone plus a semitone is one semitone smaller, and that gives us a minor third. Now, when we take... Um, a major third and and from the next note in the chord we take uh, we take a minor third right so a major triad is a major third plus a minor third a minor triad is a minor third plus a major third as you can see here, major triad, major third, plus a minor third. Okay, I can do that anywhere. Major third, try, let's take it from D. There's my major third. Here's my minor third. And it gives me a major chord. And then a minor chord is a, ma uh, a minor third, plus a major third. All right, um, you can clearly see that it, it, effectively what that amounts to is that uh, all you have to do in order to make a major chord minor is lower the third major minor. That happens anywhere, obviously. Minor. All right, okay, and uh, but uh, to get uh, to get a little bit more um, outside, uh, let's let's take uh, let's take a diminished triad. A diminished triad is a minor third plus another minor third. In the case of uh, you know, in this case, it's it's a big stretch if I want to play it like a piano voicing. So that's a diminished triad, right? Uh, a diminished is always just made up of minor thirds, consecutive minor thirds. Okay. And an augmented triad is consecutive major thirds. Major third and major third. So I have augmented, augmented, augmented. Right, and then uh, diminished. Not, I'm, I'm not talking about practical chord voicings here. There's a lot, there's further to go. And then a minor chord, minor third, plus a major third. And a major chord, a major third, plus a minor third. Now, um, why am I why am I giving you this? Because uh, um, it would be great uh, if, if if you're in the place where where you're sort of you know, playing chord pictures. And let, let's say this is a chord that, you know, that you play. Let's say this little triad here, right? With the second inversion C major triad. If I know where the third is, I know the third is C, D, E, right? And here's the E. If I lower that E, I'm going to have a minor chord, right? Because that's, that's all that the, the difference is between a major chord and a minor chord. Right. The augmented triad divides the octave in in uh, in major thirds, and there are there is one division, two divisions, and three divisions. It's an equal division. They're all they're all major thirds, 
and the uh, diminished uh, triad divides the octave four times. <laughs> Uh, by minor thirds, right? And so we call those equal division of the octave triads. And that will, will uh, uh, be important later on when, um, when we're getting to dominant seventh chord sounds and how the dominant seventh chord behaves. Okay, so, but that, that is uh, designed to give you some idea of how chords are spelled and and how that uh and how that that works how chords work i uh, think of these as foundational to more complex chord sounds so major if we add a if we add a seven right that's a more complex chord sound but we still have the 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 triad on on, on the bottom the, the same the same would apply for Right, there's my minor triad, and then if I add the, the, the seven, right, G triad, triad, and then add the seven, and it often there there are other notes added, like like a thirteen, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Resolution. Okay, uh, so diminished and augmented, they're essentially they're essentially uh, uh, dominant chord sounds. Major uh, is major chord sound, right? And minor is a minor chord sound, and we'll get into this deeper as we go along. Um, but I'm trying to build some foundational. Uh, understanding to uh, lead toward um, some improv and understanding chord progressions. Okay, good. That's it. Thanks. And we'll see you real soon.